What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Goblin, and today I'm coming in with a story that I have yet to figure out how to title, so I guess you guys will see what this is called when the video goes live, but anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this story, drop a like if you do, and before I dive into that, what I'd like to mention real quick, this video is brought to you guys by V8V Fusion Vegetable and Fruit Strawberry Banana Juice, so let's crack that open and take a sip everyone, if you got some uh, V8 Strawberry Banana Juice, take a sip with me. This video is not... It all sponsored by them. I just had a can of that right next to me, and I wanted an excuse to drink it because I got thirsty like 10 seconds into the intro. So, anyways, hope you all enjoy this video, and let's dive into it. So, whatever this story's called. T typically, I always do the, I do the same thing every fucking comma. I do the little so, and then I say, like, the, the name of the story, but I don't have a name for this yet. So, you know, the whatever this story's called. All right, so this was actually pretty recent. This was, like... A couple days ago and I was with one of my really good homies and you know how like whenever you have a really good friend you can go to their family gatherings like not everyone does but like if they have a big family party or something you get invited just because you're like real good friends with that dude it was the same kind of situation I'm real good homies with this guy we chill like every day and his family was having a real big family party that day and it's not like your typical boring like oh a bunch of boring ass you know, white people grilling out and watching baseball. It was like, it was busting. Like, motherfuckers were off the molly. Motherfuckers were smoking blunts. It was like, this guy's family's a party. So, like, I was like, hell fucking yeah, dude. Let's go hit this shit. So, we drove up, and this was in the south side of Chicago. I don't remember exactly what block this was on, but we were in the south side. I know that for a fact, because I remember navigating his home, because Chicago's like a fucking maze to get out of, dude. Like, it's it's such a bitch, and traffic is so bad. But anyways, so we were in the south side of Chicago, and we got to his cousin's house. I, I'm pretty sure it was either his cousin's or his uncle's house. I don't know whose crib it was, but either way, it was bussing. There was cars lined up all down the street already. It was a fucking hoot. Music was banging. There was no food to be found. I guess everyone ate it all because they were all high as shit, but I mean, whatever. It didn't really matter. So we walked up, shook hands with everyone, greeted everyone, you know, said hi to everybody there, and I met a shit ton of people that I didn't fucking know that were part of his family, and I already knew, like, a decent amount of people there, too, I, would like, smoked with, like, a decent amount of people there, and we're gonna call my friend's cousin Danny, and Danny is the one who kind of got our little story topic started here, so Danny comes up to us, and we're just kicking it, we're already a little high, we smoked a blunt on the way there, and Danny's like, hey, I got this fat-ass firework on me, we should go set this bitch off, and... How, how Chicago's kind of laid out is if you don't live in an apartment, they have single little, like, townhome-esque kind of things, but they're not attached. They're just incredibly close together. If you live, like, not necessarily in the, the inner inner city part, like, in the fucking, you know, right off, like, Lakeshore Drive or whatever, it's not like that there necessarily, but if you go to the south side and the west side a little bit, as you get further away from, like, the real core of the city, you, you kind of see houses that are like that, where they're super close together and, like, everything's really crazy cramped and they have like these all these houses also they have their garages like behind them in this little alleyway that's like a really common city thing not just a Chicago thing as far as I've seen that's just kind of a city thing in general but that's like the signature of the Chicago south side and west side but either way so we went out back behind this dude's house and there's this little alleyway and we found this little area like this little intersection in the alleyway where another alley crossed through and it was the most clear spot so we didn't think much of it and Danny looks at me and he's like all right little bro if I like this shit and it fucks some shit up I'm saying you lit it and I'm like hell no nah, fuck you this is all you this is your firework your lighter he's like all right you right fuck you so he lights that shit and we run we are out the jam the string on this thing is long I don't think it was a mortar I don't know what the fuck this fire work was still to this day I have no idea and we got maybe three steps back onto the property of the house that we were at and that bitch went off and let me tell you that thing was a big firework I was not expecting that like it, that shit shot everywhere and apparently what happened was I didn't see it but apparently we'd almost set someone's house on fire and this dude's aunt who was like mecha Hitler and ruins everything called the fire department so we're all over here everyone's got drugs on them dude it's a fucking party and all of a sudden the fire department you hear the sirens and we were sitting in my car by the time we heard the sirens it was like 
15 minutes after we'd set off the firework, 15, 20 minutes, and we heard the sirens coming, and we were just smoking a blunt in my car at this point, just hotboxing it, but we were parked right in front of the house, and we knew immediately they were coming right here. We were like, oh, fuck, and lo and behold, two fire trucks, a fire truck and an ambulance, actually, excuse me, came turning down the street, and they hop out, go to the wrong house at first, then they go to the right house, and they're just checking shit out. We're sitting in the car watching because we're smoking and, like, we didn't want to walk up to the fireman with a fucking blunt in our hands because I was expecting a cop to show up, like, any moment because typically you see them all travel as a group. There's, like, the ambulance, the fireman, and the cop. But there wasn't a cop until later on, surprisingly, and I'll get to that in a minute because I, I love Chicago police personally. You know, they're, I mean, sometimes they can be dickheads, but they're a lot more laid back than suburban police, which I will get to in a minute. But anyways, so... A fireman showed up and they checked shit out. We were all off the shits. So there was this man. We're gonna call him. We're gonna call him Mac. Mac was sitting in his car in the driveway, just rolling hard as fuck. Like he he had his subs all the way up, and this guy was just banging music, like just rolling so hard off the X, and it was hilarious. And the fireman came and checked up. Everyone's off the shits. So we're just like, yeah, whatever, shit's straight. And then we watched them leave. We're still sitting in my car at this point. And then we go back up to the lawn. We check on Max sitting in his car, and we're just cooling out front, drinking some beer, smoking some dope, chilling, and all of a sudden, a cop car comes pulling down. Now, cops in Chicago, I don't know if this applies to every city, but Chicago cops don't really give a fuck about weed, or even, like, underage drinking. Like, they have much bigger concerns to deal with, especially in, like, the part of Chicago we were in, so they didn't really give a fuck. Like, they walked by, I had a blunt in my hand, I was smoking an L, and they just drove right by, and they stopped, and, like, rolled down the window and just asked if everything was okay they were like hey are the firemen still here we were just like no and the cop the lady who was let me tell you some of the cops in chicago are hot as fuck this cop dude i'd bone the shit out of this cop this girl was so fine dude i'd get up i'd fucking bend her over the table I'd, hold on let me let me get something here i'd fucking smack her ass like fucking mm, she was bad as hell but anyways that's not the point all right so Anyway, she checked up. She was like, hey, the fireman still here. Is everything okay? We were like, yeah. And then she just waved, said, have a nice day, and then left. And we all had blunts in our hands. Like, we were all blowing dope. There's no doubt in my mind this woman smelled the weed. But that's the thing I love about Chicago. The cops don't fucking care if you smoke weed. Like, they don't give a shit. As long as you're not, like, smoking crack on the side of the street. Like, if you're just sitting there, like, smoking a blunt on your porch and like a cop drives by or even just like walking by smoking a blunt a cop drives by or like drinking a beer they're not gonna do anything like they don't fucking care whereas like in the suburbs if a cop drives by you and he sees you smoking a blunt or even like a cigarette he's like he pulls over to the side of the road he's like dispatch we need a SWAT team inbound to a fuck avenue there's a kid smoking a blunt he fucking ups his gun he goes freeze you're like ah he fucking shoot your ass you're like ah shit you're fucking dead as fuck, dude. I hate suburban cops. Anyways, that's all the story I had for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a like if you did, and let me know if you have had any similar experiences in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.